This one's uh, one I decided to do. I had a one of my viewers calling in asking about how to change the flame rod on these train furnaces. Now this is a TUY, pretty much works for TUX and TDX too. And it actually works for a number of other brands because it's, it's fairly uh, generic. Anyway, flame sensors here. I'm gonna pull these covers off and then we'll take a look at what's inside and how to get those parts out. Okay, before we start taking anything apart, Shut off the power. Make sure your power is shut off before you do anything inside the furnace. Okay, here we've got the uh, cover removed, and there'll be one wire going to the flame rod. Okay, the flame rod's right here. Just one screw on it. Okay, here I've got the flame rod out. Now, I will tell you, I almost never replace these things. A lot of guys like to do it because they think that'll fix it. It's just a piece of stainless steel. You can use some light sanding, uh, and it'll probably uh, sense normally after that. I've got videos on that too. But uh, you can replace them, especially if the uh, ceramic breaks or something like that. But uh, yeah, they're. Uh, they're pretty uh, pretty good so but if you are going to replace it just pull it off like that and then put a new one in hook it back up the most important thing I'm going to talk about today is the testing after you've replaced these things you should test the controls on these appliances when you're uh, replacing these parts now I'm going to do the testing of the unit First, I want to take a look at the hot surface igniter when it starts to warm up. And you want to look this thing over and be sure it's working right. We're ready to start. Now, I'm going to turn on the furnace. I've just turned on the switch. Now, it's going to take a little while for this to go because it's an electronic thermostat and they have a little bit of a delay in them. Okay, you can see it's on. Okay, the burner's lit and they're staying lit. So, look at it close. I can't really get close enough with this camera, but look close at it. Be sure the the heating is even throughout the hot surface igniter. And of course, the flame has stayed on. Now, one of the things I'd like you to check while you're doing this is to be sure that the flame safety operates. Now, here over at the flame rod, I'm going to pull the wire off. Okay, it's shut off just like it should. A second, maybe less, it should shut off. Always test this when you first uh, fire up something after you've replaced some sort of part on it. And every time. Now I notice the hot surface igniter is coming on again and it's going to try to light again. Now it's going to do this three times and then you look in your little window down the bottom see it just tried to light again and because the flame rod wire is off it's not going to light. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to look down for that little window right there and I'm not going to try to get in front of it but as soon as this thing tries three times and shuts down, it is going to uh, start blinking you a code, flame failure code. That's what you're looking for. That means it's gone into hard lockout. That means it's working normally. So when you've done all this, okay, then go ahead and put your wire back on the flame rod.
get your cover back on and fire up the furnace again turn the furnace off at the switch there's gonna be a light switch on the side turn the furnace off at the switch and then turn it back on and wait for it to start again and then you're done once it started you know it's working okay that's it on that one